Howdy, folks. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Uh -huh. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Boop. Boop. Oh, yeah. So this is how an int feels. Yeah, baby. This is how an int feels. Oh, did you hear that? That was a piece of... There's another one. Wood growing out of me. Look at that. See the armor? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six sticks. And I'm assuming that means six pieces of armor that I'm wearing. So that's maybe two for each. I don't have any shoes yet. I've got to, I'm sticking with the exoskeleton shoes for right now. Because I haven't made any. I don't know what kind of slippers I should wear. Really? Ice slippers? Ruby slippers? Nope. Got to get some man shoes. But who knows? Uh, not me. So anyway, yeah, I finally made this bark belt. It was quite difficult, but I did learn a lot, did a lot of stuff, and really figured out a good bit about the spirit world. And as I said just in my last video, I don't know what that place is for other than making a bark belt. But at least I know how to work in there now, so that's a little bit better. So, thought I would show it to you. Now I'm going to go down and check out my auto enchanter. That's right. All right, I came down to check an auto enchanter, and everybody's on tonight. How awesome! Nobody's been on like forever, and now everybody's on. I should have told him. Oh, uh, recording. Smiley. Just so everybody knows. So I went ahead and two things. One, I got rid of the uh, the astronaut gear. I took off the you know the thing and the thing. My wife Keelan says hi, YouTube. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's better. But I but I. Um, derp. I dyed them blue and I uh, and my pants don't work so I just have to use the pants that come with my skin but that doesn't look too bad that green and that blue it looks kind of you know hunter's green but I like I like the the blue and I love the pauldrons with a little pointy the shoulder things you know where pauldrons little pointy spike things on them oh and then look I got my jetpack oh yeah it's not a jetpack. It's a, it's a it's an oxygen tank. But still, it looks like a jetpack, doesn't it? <laughs> Swear, I'm flying. So, nonetheless, I came down here to check on my auto enchanter, which I set up today to uh, run off my my power setup for my auto spawner, which is in there, and um, running off my essence, run through a sewer, and I got huge tanks of stuff up there. And I got, I mean, I just filled it up. And I've still got 55 levels. I don't know what to do. But so I'm getting all these hokey books. Fire Aspect 1. I almost bit through my table. Okay. Trigger. Trigger. Okay, if you don't throw it down and a horse comes out, I don't want trigger. Because you know what trigger is? Something to do with better storage and chests. And it is, it is useless would be good for me unstable i'm already unstable i don't need a book about it so i just did another one you know these were all doing like i started at 30 and got garbage down to 18 these were all 18 this one i bumped back up to 25 just to see what did i get what did i got <gasps> persistence four yeah i think persistence makes your chest harder to break really really i don't need any of this how do i make it give me things that are useful because I need, I need better stuffs. Let me put it th that way. You know, the only thing that I've got, the only thing that I've been able to get actually is uh, I got these off the disenchanter. I'm so disenchanted with you, Al. And protection three, not bad. Yeah, fire protection three, not bad. Power four, if I wanted a bow with you know other than a, a, a smeltery bow, but you know I'd have to see anybody do a smeltery bow. Then bows aren't really useful anymore. And unbreaking three, which I'm going to put on all my armors because the printer. <laughs> Mr. Crayfish's printer will take the unbreaking three and make me another one for ink cartridges. Really? Okay, you can have all the ink cartridges you want. It runs about two cartridges for an unbreaking three. <laughs> Booyasus. So, anyhow, the auto enchanter. Wait, wait, wait. What did you get for 25 levels? Oh, oh, projectile protection. Okay, all right. So it proved me wrong. That's fine. I will take projectile, project, projectile protection for. 
That's fantastic. That is good stuff. Yeah, I would like that. So, yeah, if we could do a couple more, like, you know, blast protection or usefulness of some sort, that'd be great instead of this crap. So, anyhow, this is my uh, upstairs lab. This is where I do all my stuff. And usually I'm a bat, so I can get in there real easy. But, uh, you know, but anyhow, yeah, this is where actually behind that wall was where I originally did all of my Galacticraft stuff. And then I snatched it up and flew it up to the uh, island base, which I'm going to call NASA, so that I could go to the moon. And oh, look, little fire globes. Yeah, have you seen? Did I show you that? I finally made my, got my thing to work. The thing with the thing? Yeah. And it's, uh, oh, I can't remember. Down, 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 right? Mm. Yes, Lumos. It might be too far. Oh, it worked. Okay. Ha ha ha. I can also make it stop raining. Yeah, that's right. I can make it stop raining. That was kind of difficult. I could make it rain, I could make it dark, but I couldn't make it stop raining. And it got really loud and annoying. Wait, wait, 25 levels for... Oh, pro projectile protection for... Okay. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Oh, it's fine. You know, I'm going to need more. That way I don't have to make a copy of it. That's that's cool. That's, you know, beautimous. Yeah. Almost. Almost done. So, yeah. Uh, this setup, useless. Great idea. Useless. Does not work like it like it should at all. Um, vacuum hoppers and autonomous activators, and this is a great idea. But, unfortunately, it doesn't work nearly as fast as getting a grate, some tanks, and, yeah. I've got, I stand on that, that thing, dump XP into this, and then I run it through a sewer, and it just powers all the things. The only thing I don't know how to do yet, I'm not sure of, is how to switch this to make this switch from one to the other so all i do right now is just break it <laughs> break it there and then replace it over here and let it run to my auto spawner so yeah like you do you know so and then i've got uh, uh tons of power coming from the lava fabricator and the dynamos and the tanks of lava because lava is easy to get yeah 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 and this was for my hobgoblins originally uh, and I moved them out. I didn't like them down here. They were annoying because I'd be, you know, all by myself doing something and nobody's ever on the server. And then suddenly I'd hear, and I'd be like, holy crap, someone's in my house. Yeah, it was, it was a hobgoblin, but that's okay. That's all right. That's, that's okay. Can I get out of here without batting it? I don't think I can. Chica -chica -wah! Of course I can. I'm like a boss. So anyhow, wait, 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 wait. 25 levels for fire protection too. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm getting a little more happy. So we're going to go up to 30, and we're going to leave it in there and see what happens. And, uh, yeah, yeah, see what's going on. So anyhow, just wanted to show off the new Ama Flex. Flex. Can't really, can't really flex. Can I flex? Flex. All right. And, and I'll catch you later, Bill and Ted. All right. What we want to do now is to go over to Happy's house. Because Happy is willing to perform a little test for me. See, the thing is... Ooh, laggy. With a whiff of polka, and that's how you say it, I guess. He just went AFK, so right as I was about to start recording, um, I better tell it be people too. At Happy's house. So anyway, yeah, um, with a wither poker, you basically, um, yeah, now I can't even say it because I typed it in chat and wife of Keelan made a joke and now I can't even stop. Um, um, yeah, so you penetrate armor. You, 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 beat, you go straight to the DR, okay? Um, so is this all glass? Is this clear glass? Go chicka, 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 chicka. Okay, it's clear glass. Whew. All right, so... Um, yeah. Happy as AFK, so we're waiting. So basically, with a wither poker, armor doesn't matter. Okay, and Happy said he had one, and oh look, he does. Look at that. It's got moss on it. That's a, that's a waste there, buddy. It's a waste of slot, but that's all right. You know, you do what you got to do there. Um, but you can penetrate armor very, very easily. Now I should have enough hit points to take a shot from Happy one time because, you know, Wither isn't going to do uh, too much. 
It, it'll just, you know, it, okay, it penetrates armor, but what have you. But sincerely, if he can kill me in one shot and I'm in the purple hearts, well, you know, Keelan left the game, got scared. 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 <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. Um, he, uh, if he can kill me in one shot, then I need to know that too, but I don't think that's possible. I don't think anybody has a weapon that'll kill someone with, you know, I think I've got 110 right now hearts. Um, but what I'm hoping is the bark belt will actually mitigate the hits. Not like armor does, but it basically it'll knock off a piece of bark as opposed to doing going through the DR, you know, damage res damage reduction. It'll just automatically break through, you know? That's what I'm hoping. And we'll find out, you know? Oh, and I don't want to stand around here. I'm always nervous because these people are all mad at me. You know what I should have done? Oh, I should tag lock happy like nine times while he's out of, while he's AFK. I mean, I really should just go boop, 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 But, you know, I got enough. I got enough tag locks from everybody. It's it's not a big deal. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just wait around. I guess maybe I'll go kill cats or something while I'm doing this. So we'll fly around. Here comes the cue ball. Okay, we'll wait. That's Keelan or wife of Keelan. Hey, man. Took off his armor. Waiting on the happy camper. In his pretty pink armor. Oh, so can we go to the, what is enchanted land? Are all the pixies dead? His wife of Keelan. I'm at a severe disadvantage because I can't uh, I can't fly. So yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I thought they had been configed out. Is why Happy has pink armor. That's the only place. Ooh, plane. Uh, so, okay. I'm done until Happy comes back. I mean, I'm just going to record straight through. I'm going to go ahead and start, just record it all the way through and, you know. Shut up there. Go check. Okay. Okay, Haps. One shot with a poker. Let's see what happens. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, come on, come on, get it, get it, I've got six, just hit me, oh, from ten, 
Oh my god. <sighs> Sweet. Get on the dirt. He's got a hundred and two. What's she got? She got nothing. She's a one shot. Keelan is a one shot. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, again, please. I've got six, and I don't think it does a dang six and five purples. Hello. No armor penetration. And that sound was the armor growing back. You're a one shot. You're a one shot. I say. Also, Keelan's. You need. You need hearts, like, lots of hearts. Happy? Can I hit you once? Just once. Just once. You got 102. You'll be fine. Come on, Happy. You want to Skype? So you know I'm not plotting. <laughs> Dude, you're always plotting. Uh, eh. Nice. <laughs> and happy. Would take a bit. 